Hello everybody, this is Debbie from Stamps and Stuff, based out of beautiful Lake Havasu City. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm all excited because today our new catalog goes live. So, it's really an exciting day. All right. Um, last week, when I did this card, I had a lot of requests to do this, which was a wedding card. So, I am going to be doing this. And... Um, after I'm finished, I will go to work on the website and there will be a t PDF and it will look something like this. This is for another card. This one is for our um, outhouse little Hey Chick card. So anyway, it has pictures, it has dimensions and instructions. It has a supply list of everything you need. And then there is also a video there. Now, for everybody that's having trouble finding the PDF, where I am putting them now, uh, and I have been for a while, there will be a picture on the blog post. See, <clears throat> there'll be a picture of this. Then down below it, I will have the U this YouTube video will be on the website. Right in between there, it says for free PDF photo tutorial, click here. You'll want to click on the word here, and that will bring up um, this for you, and you can print that off. So, okay. Let me get some announcements here. Um, let me see. I have this card here that will be going to Donna Thomas. And she has won this card and it will be in the mail. So Donna, I'm not sure if I have your address. I think I might, but uh, if I don't get in touch with me, give me your address. Um, then this corner bouquet here uh, was won by Lori Mantobi, and she has requested to pay it forward, so I drew again. And Jackie Ray, Jackie, get in touch with me, give me your address, and this will be going to you. And this, I think, was one of the biggest sleepers during uh, celebration. This is absolutely gorgeous, done direct to rubber. In other words, you take your markers, you color directly on the rubber, you huff on it, and you uh, stamp it. It is just absolutely beautiful. And I will, I need to get out my sample of that. And it is, it's really, really cool. So Jackie, get in touch with me and that will go off to you. Um... This was for uh, the Art Gallery Telescope video, which was the last, the last one I did, I think. Uh, Marie Ange Johnstone, you have won the Pearl Basic Jewels. Get in touch with me. Make sure I have your address correct, and they will be on their way to you. Um, the Berry Blessings. Uh, this was for hitting the thousand subscribers and Joyce Rowell that goes to you Get in touch with me. Make sure that I have your correct address um, This one has been hanging around for a little bit all the others are on their way So if I haven't mentioned yours and you know, you've won something that means it's already out on its way to you Okay this one went to Trudy Johns, and um, she was one that signed up for my email newsletter. And for some reason, your email is bouncing. So Trudy Johns, get in touch with me. Make sure I have the correct email and your address so I can get this off to you. Because I like to keep this box empty. So that means that everything is going out to everyone. And... 
I am having some sort of a drawing for every single video now. And it, I would appreciate if you would like, share, comment, subscribe. All four of those actions get you in for the drawing. So if you do all four and let me know, you get four entries into it. If you've already subscribed, just put already subscribed. And that way you get that one again. So um, there will be a drawing for this one. Don't know what it is exactly, but uh, it'll be something good. Okay, so... Now, this is coming up, and this is something that I want to mention um, because I'm not hearing it out in any of the videos that I am watching. Now, um, oh, I don't even have the code here. Okay, starting May 7th, that's uh, Friday. For Paper Pumpkin, if you are a new subscriber, you will get the month for $5, and that is a smoking deal. But uh, you will need to have the uh, code. Hang on. Let me check and see if I have it over here. Yes, I do, because there is a code, and I had to kind of search it down, so I know if I had to search it down, I'm not the only one knowing that. And if you don't, and I had uh, one of my class members sign up thinking she was going to get the $5, and it billed her the regular price. So I had to go in and check, and, and we got that squared away, so she'll be ready to go. The code is... Home Run 0521. And you will need to enter that to get the $5 special. So, uh, and like I said, I have not heard that anywhere out in the, the uh, social media or anything. So that is important. I don't want you to think you're signing up to get a $5 deal and get charged the regular price. Also, starting today, we have our Join Plus promotion. So for your $99 to join, instead of $120 in product or $125, you're getting $155. Plus, you get a free paper pumpkin, you get free shipping, you get your business portfolio so that if you would like to um, sell that you can write orders and have that packet and that's right if you added everything up with shipping and everything would be right at $200 so it's a good deal for $99 and I hope if you don't have a demonstrator and you are interested doesn't matter if you want to be a business builder or if you just want to be your own best customer a hobby demo that's fine because the hobby demo is how I started a originally. So I would love to have you on my team. So if you are interested, go to stampsandstuff.org and uh, hit the join. Up at the top, there's a menu bar. Now on mobile phones, I think there's three lines that you hit and that will give you the menu bar. And then you go to join and you just uh, fill it out there. But I would love to uh, have you on my team. So, um, let me try something here. Okay. Morning, Mom. Hope you're having a good day. Of course I'm having a great day. Ramona, hi there. How are you? Alice, yay, you caught me live finally. Hope Hubby is doing better. How is he doing? Um... So anybody with excess prayers there, give um, Alice's hubby a, a mention in your prayers because he's had some rough times with his health. Uh, Kathy Bothwell, hi Debbie. Yay, thank you for the subscribe. Phyllis, oh, Turlock, California. Now I was born and raised in Southern California. I was born uh, Los Angeles, grew up in Huntington Beach. Um, my hubby and I 
ran away from the big city. Oh, we've been here probably about 37 years now. So great to have you guys. Um, I'm going to try something here and see what this does. Oh, yay, it works. Okay, I had to, I just had to try that. All these new bells and whistles and everything. Okay, now a sneak peek on Friday. We will be doing this card here. So that's what I have on the agenda for Friday. So let's get going on this one. And I had a lot of uh, questions on this here. Where'd that come from? I used to have my own stamp store. And so I have thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dies. So this is an old one. I don't even have a clue where it came from. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how you can use the Stampin' Up! product or any um, design that you would like to make a uh, corner little pocket that you can you can either put a gift card or money in that. And it's, it's really works out great. So anyway... Let me get all my pieces out here. Oh, wanted to mention, this is the new online class to go. So if you are interested in this class, this little fire hydrant, isn't that cute? This one, I saw Erica Sir one did, did one similar to it. This is just a little bit different. Hers had a, um, a like a spout at the bottom. And um, this, see that looks like leopard skin or snake skin. Then we have the card. And then we have this Goodwill Goodwill card. Look at the cat. Look at the expression on that cat's face. I just love that. Anyway, if you're interested in that, uh, go to the website, and um, that is stampsandstuff.org, and um, hit the contact me button, and I will send you out the pricing structure on it. I have it structured four ways. Uh, if you want everything, you want the the bundle and the embellishments and and the card um, cardstock kit and everything, or if you have the bundle, you just want the cardstock kit and the embellishments, or if you're on my team member, you get the you get all the classes to go free. The only thing they pay for is a nominal fee for the cardstock kit itself and then there is one uh say if you're a demo and you would like to have all the information you can get just the video and the pdf alone so there's four pricing structures so just hit that um contact me button and let me know you'd like to have the information sheet and i will get that out to you so I think that's all the, the business we've got here. So let's get going. Okay, I want to put all my goodies over here. They have a tendency to walk right off this countertop here. And uh, I don't particularly like that. So, okay. Now then, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you. Now this pocket goes all the way across. There are, I was looking in the catalog, there are tons of dies that you can use to do something like this. Now, um, this one is the one I was working on. See, right here. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, you will take your, this is a regular four by 11, four by five and a quarter. It's just a panel piece like the one that would be on the front there. What you're going to do is you're going to score it. Let me get my, 
thing out here. All righty. You're going to score this at the half inch there. You're going to turn it and you're going to score it here at the half inch. And that basically is all the scoring you'll have to do. Okay, then I'm going to take and I am going to cut this corner here. See, see where the score is. I'm going to cut that little, I have an X there. I'm going to cut that off. And then I'm going to kind of almost like miter these edges. So when they fold under, there's not going to be any. In fact, you can cut it straight across. There's not going to be any uh, extra bulk there. So what I'm going to do, this is the die I'm, was go I'm going to use. Uh, and I will take the die cut and glue it on there later, but you can figure out which way you're going to put it, and I'm going to put it right in here. Okay, so that's going to tell me, and then I am going to take this, and this set is from the hand pinned, which is what I'm using today, and I am going to be using these flowers. I'm substituting a little from what the, the original card was, and then uh, this one is in this set. So then what I'm going to do, and I always want my, my uh, die cut to come up along the edge a little more, so is I'm going to set this right about there, and then I'm going to check this. Yes, this is going to pop up just a little above there. I will take this. And I always, when I run dies, I always put my removable tape on it so that they stay nice and firm. I hate to have to do something again. So, okay, you will run that die in your die cutter. And through the magic of... TV, you will end up with this piece here. So see, this is like this. This, the die went on it. Let me pull this off here so that you can see and it won't be confusing. See, this is going like this. So it's going to cut the straight, straight edge up there. See, like this. It's going to cut this off and then you have the straight edge there so you can throw this away. Okay, so let me put this back in here so I don't lose my dies. Also, a tip with your dies. I put them uh, in these packets and they come from um, Stampin' Storage. The great, they have great products. But on the back here, it tells you how many dies you have. I put the number up there so that I can always, when I go to put these away, I can run a quick count and know that all the dies are here because they're supposed to be 14. So I count those all up and I know they're all there. So, all righty. The other die we're using is we will be using this on the Brilliant Wings and we will be using um, this rectangle here. It's one, two, three, four. I think it's five down, but I will have it exactly on the um, uh, PDF for you. And then I did take, I just love this one from the Pretty Perennials. Now, there are many, many dyes you can use and flowers. So you don't have to get, when you see a project you like, um, you don't have to get hung up on, on doing it exactly like that. Um, okay, so this is die cut here now. And what you're going to do is you will fold these over here. You will take your tear and tape. 
and you will put tear and tape here and tear and tape there. And then you will put this right here on the on the inside top. And I will have pictures in the PDF tutorial. I will do them kind of stage by stage. So I hope I haven't... Um, I, hi, Peggy. Um, oh, cataract surgery, Peggy. Well, I hope you recover quick. Okay, so anyway, if I've confused you, I apologize. I will have pictures and it will show you step by step on the tutorial. So you will glue this in there with your tear and tape. And then you will take your die cut and you will put your die cut there. So basically it just zhuzhes up the uh, money pocket. So, that is cool. All righty. So, since we're in here, we might as well take... Um, oh, I already know what something that I forgot to do, but not to fear. All righty. Let's do this inside and the front side. Let me put this back in here so I don't lose it. Get those little metal containers from uh, Harbor Freight. And I know whenever we lose something on the counter, the first thing we do is we pick up those magnetic things and look on the bottom because somehow anything that falls on the counter, it kind of gravitates to that magnet. Okay, I did want to mention too the uh, embossing folder that I used for the inside here let the camera sometimes it takes the camera a little bit of time but that is really pretty and then I have the tear and tape there that I am going to put the foil on and I am also going to put it on the front now this front uh, these are formally now retired this um, Oh, I can't even remember the name of it. See how quick I forget? Anyway, what I did is I switched to the rectangle frame. You can do a circle. You can do a heart. There are tons and tons of um, dies that you can use for this. Okay, so for those that did not, and I will try. Last time I worked with this stuff, I blew on my card and I had gold everywhere. What I did is I put tear and tape here on the edge. So I am going to take the top off of the tear and tape. And so what's left is the sticky. And I am going to just lay that in there. Looks like a hot mess, huh? Okay. Now then, I am going to take and just rub this off. With a sponge and then I have a stencil brush here. And I whenever I have a straight edge, I go along that edge because you tend to have little tailings that want to kind of hang on. And I want a straight, crisp edge on that. Isn't that pretty? Now, I always buff it afterwards. Always have. We've worked with these foils. I used to have my own stamp store. We have had foils like this for many, many years. and just love them. Okay, now here is the inside. We are going to do the same thing. Just give it a little push here, and I will take my handy dandy little sponge and get most of the extra off here. But this definitely 
is not the time you want to sneeze because this stuff is so lightweight it tends to float okay and now i'm going to take my little and get that over there i have to keep this away from the kitty cat because he likes to put his head in there and snort Okay, I should have, oh, I don't have a cloth here. Oh, what I do is I just take a soft cloth and I kind of buff it and it helps to um, show, see there's, there's texture, you can see texture in it. It's not just one color, it is flakes on top of flakes so it does give you a, um, a cool, product there. Okay, now I'm going to take this and it it's already embossed. What I'm going to do is I am going to put it on the inside. And you can have your gold stripe on either side. Now, one thing I forgot to do is emboss my forever and, but I will have the always on there. But I don't think you want to wait for me to, uh, to go emboss that at the embossing station. So we'll just imagine that it is there. And I just saw a little goober on the edge. And normally when you buff it, it kind of takes all the rest of that off. Okay. Now, I have the always that is going to be across here above or just below. No, just above the forever. What this is, this is a product called Foam Adhesive Sheets. And it is an adhesive sheet with stick -em on both sides. So what I did was I took the top off of the top the cover and I put a piece of the paper that I wanted to use and I affixed it there so there's no more sticky here the sticky is now just on the bottom and then I took my always and I just run it right through your die cutter so they work and I did the same with the love and so they just work just wonderful. Okay, I'm going to kind of push these, get these out. Okay. Okay, all right, I will pull this out and I'm going to pop these little pieces that I don't need in the loop of the Y and back here in the S. And you, if you get one that's kind of stubborn and it stays there, you can usually pick it off after you've mounted it. Get this out of there. It's wanting to stick to me. It loves me. There we go. Thank you, Jesse. Okay. 
so I am going to mount that right there. I am going to now I'm going to pull the sticker backing off. There we go. Now on this one, I have, uh, that looks like Winkastella on that. So you can put the Winkastella or some people like the matte finish. Make sure I get all those little pieces out. Okay. So there you have the inside, and now I'll show you how to do the outside. Okay, this is kind of, you know the floating frame technique that they have that you put all the pieces together and pop it up on a frame, and then you take the uh, press and seal and put over the top and lift it up and then you can put the glue on the back and then superimpose it back down and it stays and it looks like the frame is kind of floating this is this is kind of um, that technique similar to it so what we're going to do is we are just going to catch these edges in fact let me get my silicone craft sheet here. I want this on this side. And it doesn't matter which side your gold's on. That's just personal preference. You can put it anywhere. And so what you're going to do is you're going to lay these down and you're going to glue them and then you start gluing to each other so everything is just kind of hooked up and then when this is popped it's it's like you have floating images over the top and it really is pretty okay so now then what i'm going to do here is i'm going to lift that up just a tad and that's what i like about this glue because it 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 is quite pliable until it really sets and then once it sets it's on there for good okay so i'm going to get this down in here Okay, now I'll put that back down. Am I up high enough where everybody can see? I don't like to get down. And I have a habit of doing that too, which isn't, isn't good. Get those out of the way. Now then, I'm going to take this flower here and I am going to, um, in fact, I'm going to put a dimensional on it. Now this dimensional is going to show from the back, but it's not, I'm not worried because I am going to load down a whole bunch of pearls there. So... All righty. Okay. And I'm going to take this. And these are all die cuts from this. Um, Pinned flowers. 
It's one of the new ones in the catalog. In fact, it can be ordered today. Okay, let me put this kind of right there. And then I'm going to take some of these little ones here. And I am going to get my little mini dots, my itty bitties. And I'm going to put one there. going to put one up here. See how pretty that looks already? Okay. Now then, what I'm going to do, I don't have do I have some of these? Yeah, I do. I'm going to put some of these, which are, it's the same thing that I use to die cut the always and the love. But I want to bring them up, put dimensions on the back so that Oh, this has got paper on the top. I'm going to have to add glue to it. I thought these were... Okay, but that's fine. I can just add glue. Sticky that back up. Get this back up here in our... There we go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these sticker parts off. And this, these two were left over from one that I had to cut. So it's got paper on that second sticky side. So I am going to fix that by adding some glue there. Okay, now then, I'm going to mount this right here. Put this over here. And then I'm going to take this second butterfly and I am going to kind of fix his wings so he looks like he's flying. I, you want to kind of bend these up and you want to take and put your finger there. Same way with a pedal. If you have this, see how fine these lines are? If you just start pulling on this, you're just going to rip that, that wing right off. So what I do is just roll my... tool right off of the edge there. I just kind of, see how I'm turning my hand and rolling? There you go. Now then he's going to look like he's flying and it gives him a little more dimensional. A little more dimension. Okay, so I'm going to put, what I am going to do is I am going to clip those Bottom antennas. Cover your ears. Casey screams. Okay. Because sometimes it 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 kind of ruins the effect if you've got double double antennas there. Okay. Now then. 
This one doesn't have to be on the foam. You can just do it die cut. Okay, let me pull the sticky off of that. Get this little piece out of here. Oh, thank you. Congratulations on the thousand. Yes, that is unbelievable. Okay. Okay, now we get the OVE here. I should have pulled these out before I started pulling it apart. They want to stick all over. this out of there. Okay. And if your hands ever get sticky with stuff, now this doesn't have much of a residue, but if it does, like with this glue, just take a little of your hand sanitizer and put it on your hands and that will remove the stick. Okay. Now then, I'm gonna take my Wink of Stella here. And I am going to do his body, and I am going to do the letters here. In fact, I kind of pushed on that too much, and it started coming out there. And you guys do know that you can refill your Wink of Stella's. You pull them apart and put your alcohol, and I use 91%. There we go. Doesn't show as much on camera. Um, on camera, the glitter tends to show more, but it does look very pretty in person. And then I'm going to take uh, the Pearl Basic Jewels. And use them. I got one trying to escape here. Let me get it. And I am going to put these. Okay. Okay. Put that in the center and then I am going to take the small ones here and I am going to go around the larger pearl on this flower. Gotta love the pearls. There 
there's just enough room for one more there. Okay. I'm going to put one up here. Whoop. I am going to put three small ones there too. Right where those little holes are where you can see my little dimensional. Come back here. These flowers had three little holes on the top, so okay. So I think we've got it. So there is love always. You've got your little pocket and um, you can put the and forever if you'd like to put that on there and hang on here with this one. I want to put one there and one there just so my eye won't go round and round and round. Okay, very pretty. And then on the envelope, in the spirit of no naked envelope, I took the flap and I put it right in there. Got it right on the line and ran it right through. And so that embossed the flap of the envelope. So there you go. Seems like a lot of steps, but it is easy. You are welcome, Sue. Thank you, everybody. Such a beautiful, classy creation. Thank you. You guys are too good to me. I keep telling Tim, it's not going to be very long and I'm not going to be able to get my head through a doorway. You guys are great with your compliments, but it's going to give me the big head. Okay. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day and I hope you have a great rest of the day and I will see you again on Friday and I teased that card already so if you have anything that you would like to see me demo anything in the new catalog because I have tons of I got uh, I think five boxes on my pre-order and uh, I'll be ordering again today because there's things we only we were limited as to what we could order on the pre-order. So you couldn't just order everything. So I have another long list, so I better get to that. I will get to the website and all the information will be posted and probably about three hours from now. Uh, everything will be up and live and all the links will be in and the PDF will be there for you. And other than that, have a great day. And we'll see you again.